93.3 CFMU. This is Lullabies in Razorland. Still to come, Blondie drummer Clem Burke starts a new band called The Split Squad. They're at This Ain't Hollywood Tonight with the Gord Lewis Band opening up. Former teenage head guitar starting his own band with old friend Dave Ray. The first time they're playing together officially since Dave Ray was in Teenage Head. That features Gene Champagne. They'll be coming in before 8 p.m. Uh, Jibbers, J.B. Reed of the Human Orchestra are talking about playing uh, Seven Sundays in Gage Park and Last Scattering on the cover of View Magazine. Uh, the boys will be coming in to talk about that. Meanwhile, Thursday at Liquid Kitty, a rather new band called Black Daisy is having their release party. Self-titled CD, it seems. We've got two-fifths of the band in the studio with us. Just one on This is Black Daisy on 93.3 CFMU. Ninety-three three CFMU, the music of Black Daisy, song called Just Wanna, and we've got Trisha Kiesmont and Mike Campbell from the band here. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, we don't know each other at all. In fact, I barely know Mike. <laughs> yeah, we've only been chatting for a couple weeks. Well, yeah, uh, I write about a lot of local bands and uh, View Magazine. I have them come on the radio, such as this. Uh, but uh, how long has your band been together then? About three years now we've been working together. That's some time then. How'd you come together? Is it uh, school or did you meet in the clubs? Or You're from Brantford, so... Actually, I was through a friend of mine. Um, she was really close with the original bassist from our band. And so one night I was just jamming out of her house a bit. And he said he had a band. And I said, oh, I'd love to go to band practice one day. And he's like, you should come on out. And then it just kind of unfolded from there. Yeah, Ryan and I, uh, uh, guitarist Ryan Havlin, um, we started a band, uh, along with the original bassist, um, back in 99, 2000, in that era. Wow. And, that's uh, like 14, 15 yeah. years ago. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's now you're aging time. me. Wow. Uh, yeah. And, uh, our other guitarist, Jody, played with Ryan in high school, so they've known each other since high school. Would we have known any of the other bands you were in then, Mike? Uh, you may have. Uh, the original band was called Suck Eight. We, uh, went to LA in 2005 and won an LA Music Award then. Oh, really? Yeah. 
I, I so. did not know that. Yeah. Wow. So uh, this new band, Black Daisy, if you're a seasoned veteran, then what what was the idea with forming this band? Uh, this is very different from uh, the original band uh, with Trisha, lead singer. I mean, female lead singer for one thing. Um, but uh, she's very involved with uh, writing the music, too, which gives a totally different feel from a, a female perspective, I guess. And uh, uh, we have a lot of fun. Well, uh, the music of Sec 8, I think, is what the band was called. Uh, uh, was that uh, Did that not sound like Black Daisy then? No, it was uh, more, uh, I guess, not necessarily hard rock, but harder rock than what we play now. Uh, the stuff we play now is very eclectic. It's anything from, uh, we've got some blues, pop, uh, rockabilly, um, rock. Yeah, like a blues grunge kind of yeah. thing going on. It's interesting. It's really eclectic. Um, I think because everyone in the band is so dynamic and they all come from different um, genres of music, so we all kind of add a different flavor, and it's uh, really been neat to come up with our originals and bring that all together for a really interesting sound. Yeah, in fact, our new bassist, he's been with us uh, what, four months now, uh, Neil Elliott. Uh, he's from Port Dover. Uh, the other guys are from Waterford, I'm from Brantford, and Trisha's from Cuga. So, Cuga? Uh, Cuga, yeah. Can you say that like a bullhorn? Cuga! <laughs> 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 yeah, so Neil uh, comes from the background of heavy metal, uh, like metal scream bands, metal. Yeah, so sure. <laughs> we're very a uh, mixed group. Is it because the band is a little more rural, you don't mind being so far apart? Uh, geographically, because that's there's quite a distance between Cayuga, Waterford, Brantford. Yeah, we uh, coming we, to Hamilton, we, no less. We practice mm-hmm. in Cayuga, so it's a 45 minute drive for me every practice there and back. So, um, but uh, yeah, it's I've a love of all of ours, so we don't mind the drive. I've definitely acquired a few couch potatoes at my house. Uh. <laughs> uh, where did you end up recording your? This is your debut CD, then. Yeah, we uh, recorded with uh, Randy Solsky uh, in Brantford at RS uh, Sounds. Hmm. I'm not familiar with him. Uh, he's a uh, guitarist for Dry County. Uh, oh, Country Man. Yeah. I know Dry County. Yeah. Well, then, now we're putting the pieces together. Yes. <laughs> Although, see, he's a country, well, they're more, he's a, oh, uh, God, what was his, Kid Rock more kind of country. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. Rock sure. and country, Yeah, I think I they call it ACDC meets uh, country type. Music, I think that's what they Something do. like that. Something well, like so that. how did he lend his hand to the music of uh, Black Daisy? Uh, just, uh, I think we were looking for uh, someone uh, who's uh, been in the business for a while, and we've uh, had friends that have worked with him. Uh, Craig Peeling's one a friend of mine uh, from... Peeler. Yeah, Peeler, <laughs> yes. Uh, we played hockey together when we were little guys. So, oh. Uh, we've played a couple shows You don't together. play hockey anymore? Uh, once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, so Craig and I have known each other for years, and uh, like I said, we've played shows together, so we just kind of make connections through people. And that's how I met Randy. Uh, is there such a thing as a Black Daisy? There is not. There is us. <laughs> black Daisy, uh, with, the, with black, the color and the title, it sounds perhaps a little more darker. There's definitely a dark element to some of our songs, yes. for sure. You say that with this beaming smile. I know, <laughs> but that's kind of the contrast, eh? We have the black daisy, the daisy so kind of delicate, and yes. then we have this dark side to our music, too. So there's really definitely a little bit of everything on the album. Some songs are very dark, and some songs are really upbeat and happy. Well, yeah, so. just one of the song we introduced you with sounded very happy. Yeah. Yes. Would that that's be the- perhaps uh, even poised to be a, like a radio single? For sure, I think so. Yeah, that seems to be the, one of the ones, uh, I think there's three or four that people really say, wow, that should be on the radio type thing. But uh, and we have a, a song called Shadow, which is uh, the dark yeah. dark side of things. Mm. Yeah. Shadow and Tangled, for sure. Tangled, yeah. And Icy Red is definitely has a dark side to it. It's yes. a really cool tune as well. And you keep saying it like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> you're yeah, we'll ta- catch you about You're, you're talking sure. about a stamp collection or something or, you know, Hello Kitty collection. And, and it's really dark. <laughs> uh, perhaps it's a dichotomy we'll have to explore in the uh, years as you continue on performing. Black Daisy celebrates a CD release party this Thursday at uh, Liquid Kitty. Yes. Liquid Kitty has been has gone through many different incarnations over the last 20 years or so. They don't have a lot of bands, though, play there. No. Uh, I so how do you choose that club? Are you are you guys frequenters of Liquid Kitty? 
Um, well, let's do another Forget connection. Forget to in, in undress because it's rather warm in this <laughs> studio. And it's not you, Mike. <laughs> Trisha, keep your clothes on, okay? Will do. Uh, yeah, it's uh, again through another uh, uh, music business connection, um, a family friend of mine who uh, apparently was a friend of my mom's when they were kids uh, is uh, a manager at Westbury Audio in Toronto. Oh. And he does all the sound equipment and fixes stuff at Liquid Kitty. So I went there one day with Trisha to pick up some gear that we were using from Bob. And uh, the guys started talking to us about the music and the band. And they said, hey, would you like to come play Thursday night? So I think uh, Facebook was the practical, tangible lesson that life is all about who you know, not what you know. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. And so, obviously, the more people you know, then you find a place to play. But uh, does Black Daisy come into the Hamilton to play? I mentioned Hey Brother is a band from Brantford. There was a cool, real underground scene. Uh, Transylvania 500 was uh, Dracula playing this old uh, set of keyboards and the Wolfman playing the drums. They were from Brantford area. I recognize the name. Transylvania 500. Not, that, well, yeah. you're older. So, yeah, 14 years ago, yeah. probably. Well, yeah, 14 at least years ago. Never got to see them play, but I did. Well, you should have. It was crazy. Yeah. Very crazy. There's got to be some YouTube video of that somewhere. Somewhere. Well, <laughs> I don't know. No, see, because 14 years ago, we yeah, were in a different are. world. Trisha, I don't what, what was Trisha doing 14 years ago? <laughs> Your mom was probably changing her diapers 14 years ago. Well, I don't know. <laughs> We won't talk about that. Um, do you guys get to come to Hamilton to play at all in the Hamilton scene, the Corktown, the Casbah, the Baltimore House, the This Ain't Hollywood, Homegrown Hamilton? we got lots of different clubs that have bands playing every night. We would absolutely love to. We're just kind of uh, starting to spread the word and uh, move into other spaces. you got to start uh, yeah. doing some more networking. Yes, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, we've played in Dover quite a bit. Um, they've been really good. Yeah, we did Friday the 13th this year. And- you played Friday the 13th? Yes. The motorcycle uh, yeah. rally kind of yeah. weekend? That's where yes. you go to Port Dover? Yeah. And your music lended itself to that, or was it just Trisha? <laughs> <laughs> Did you wear leather both. chaps and a motorcycle jacket <laughs> or something and a bandana? Or? Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of fun on Friday the 13th. It was a great show. It yeah. happened to, uh, actually, uh, we're going to Borden Military Base tomorrow to play for uh, about 2,300 people. Um, and... The guy that uh, invited us to play there actually saw us playing in Port Dover. Hmm. Well, yeah, so, that, that the bands always have those stories. Yeah. So, um, if if you can win over the crowd, then I mean that's every band should be trying to do that and networking and talking to every single person. Sometimes those people might seem the smarmiest, and sometimes musicians don't want to do that. You go, hey, how are you doing? Do you know my band? Kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but really, you have to do that. Yeah, you have to. Promote. You gotta be like veterans like Dave Rave and Gord Lewis of Teenage Head. They're coming up next. Have you ever heard of Teenage Head? Yes. They'd probably played Port Dover. Probably. Probably. You've... <laughs> <laughs> if not, they should. Well, no, I, I think they, they've been around the block a couple of times. Yeah. There's a couple of times. They're actually playing tonight at uh, This Ain't Hollywood while Dave Rave and Gord Lewis in the new Gord Lewis band. So it's an exciting thing we'll be talking about later. Maybe you'll listen after we're done. Uh, what, what do you hope to do with Black Daisy in this market? You know, CDs are hard to sell, but, uh, whether you're 16 or 60, people can make money if they work hard enough making music. But what do you guys want to do as a band? You know, I think as long as we're playing and we're all playing together, that's kind of what we're after right now. And just to keep writing and trying to get our music out there because we want to share it with everybody. It's uh, something that everybody can really connect with. Um, That's what I really love about this album is there's something on that album for everybody. It doesn't matter what genre of music you're into. It doesn't matter what age category you are. There's something you're going to love on it. Technically, the Beatles were like that, like an album with a white album. Again, I don't know what you know, Trisha, because it might be a little before your time. Maybe Bond knows. We, should we say mom's name on the radio? At least give her a shout out or something. My yeah. mom, my mom's name is uh, Pat Keysmet, and she's oh. the best. Yes. Yeah, so who's I with us saying, here? Is that Pat or who's no. this? This is, this is Rebecca. She is amazing, and she's doing a great job today. <laughs> <laughs> and what is Rebecca's job with the band? Well, today she's our photographer, and she keeps Mike here in line. Yes. So, uh, oh. She does a good job of that. Is that why she has the riding crop? <laughs> <laughs> I should have taken a picture of that face on Rebecca. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Um, well, yeah, the the Beatles were all over the place on uh, like the White Album, but in this day and age, it's hard to categorize. Uh, every for the last ten years, it's like if you like X band, then you'll like this band yeah. or whatever. And so, if oh, they're all over the place, and they go from Happy Katrina and the Waves pop songs to dark grungy songs. How are you going to approach a target market? Um, I think that's what's really neat, though, is that our target market can vary a little bit, and you can kind of cater to whoever you're playing with, because that's the idea of developing more original songs, is you can kind of pull something on your hat for everyone in the audience. And I found what's interesting about some of our songs is that some of the music that we write, I wouldn't think certain people would like it because it might be a little bit dark, but I find that people tend to connect with it even if it's not a style of music they typically listen to. I've had someone who only listens to country listen to the album and they've said to me, you know, I don't listen to anything but country, but I keep listening to your album over and over in the car and it's something totally out of their genre that they would typically pick, but they really have connected with it and it resonates with them, so they start listening to it, so it's neat. Black Daisies, who we're talking with, they're playing at Liquid Kitty on Thursday night, CD release party. Are there other bands playing, or what, what are the details of this show? Uh starts around, uh, doors are open around 9. Um, we're going to play the full album, and uh, I think that's pretty much it. We might throw a few covers in, so people dance. And what, what kind of covers would you throw in? Oh, jeez. We do everything. Yeah, we do everything from, from classic rock to the hip to... Uh, Trisha uh, sings the hip? No. No, Michael does. We, we actually, <clears throat> Jody and I also sing oh. uh, some of the covers that we do. Yeah. So it's very mixed. And um, What would be your favorite one you sing, Trisha? Um... I definitely like singing Rocky Mountain Way. Yeah. Like Rocky that. Mountain Way? Yeah. yeah. You, you spent the last year Rocky Mountain Way? I spent the and last you, year you, Rocky Mountain Way. You, you, couldn't, <laughs> you couldn't get much higher? No. Definitely mm. not. <laughs> yeah. We just uh, learned a couple of new ones, too. Oh, like what? For the, for the kids tomorrow. We're doing uh, The Highway of Heroes. Oh. Trying to choose. Yeah. And we're doing Heaven Knows. Yeah. And Pretty Reckless. American authors, best day of your life, just yeah. to try and connect with that younger audience that will be. When I see all this Saturday. music, I don't know what the hell you're talking yeah. about. <laughs> well, you maybe me and Rebecca should go somewhere while you guys talk about this music. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely want to check out the Pretty Reckless video on YouTube. Is that a band or a it's, song? No, it's Pretty Reckless is the band. It's actually the, the lead singer is the uh, girl from The uh, uh, Grinch Who Stole Christmas, the Cindy Lou Who. She's oh. now grown up. But she's all grown that, up. <laughs> That yeah. this is a family show, so I can't say <laughs> what I was going to say. Rebecca, stop it! <laughs> what is your problem? <laughs> uh anyways, before this gets out of control, Black Daisy is uh, playing Thursday. Liquid Kitty, is there a cover? No. How much are CDs? Absolutely not. Ten dollars for bucks. the album. Yeah. <laughs> and BlackDaisy.ca is where we can learn more details about the band. Absolutely. And yeah, and it's on iTunes and CD Baby as well. So you're rocking out the uh, shows while well, the doors are at nine o'clock for uh, Liquid Kitty tomorrow. Uh, you're playing where again? Uh, CFB Borden at the military base. Where is that? Is that it's far by, away? It's up by Barry. Yeah. That's, that's, that's very yeah. far away. away. But maybe you have? Do you have groupies? Do you have people that follow you around from? We are bringing all our little groupies <laughs> with us. Why, why do you look at Rebecca? <laughs> we're, bringing the bring them. we're bringing our crew yeah. and all the people. A lot of the people who are supporters. We're gonna have. Is, for them yeah. to do well is there anybody it. that comes on their own from, you know, if there are the Waterford people that will go far away or Cayuga people? Well, or? I think they would, but this is more of a, uh, it's kind of a private on the base show. No, yeah. Right? yeah, well, that's why. Yeah. You know, yeah. I so hear we're the bringing military a crew. And it sounds, so uh, we've just yeah. elaborated on who our stage crew is for this show. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Dondria Eru, that name doesn't ring a bell either? No? No. Okay, well, I'm just. Same for connections, and I can't. Uh, but Black Daisy, then. So, do you want to play another up tempo song to go out, or do you want to do a darker song? Uh, oh, it's your right. call what you want to play. All right. Well, let's get a little dynamic then, and we'll do I See Red. What's uh, this song about then, Trish? Oh, this song here is. Um this song is dedicated to a friend of mine, and uh, it's about boy troubles, I guess you could say. <laughs> boy troubles? It's pretty self-explanatory to listen to the lyrics. <laughs> boy troubles? You know, every girl will understand this song, I think. Yeah, this is one that the ladies connect to. <laughs> no. Well, how do you connect, Mike? I play drums on it. <laughs> <laughs> 
You don't you don't understand the boy troubles then that Trish is singing about? Uh, I don't think I've run into that yet, but you never know. <laughs> He's got someone keeping him in line, so yeah. he should be Again, okay. Well, yes, we have Rebecca Plus, here. Trisha keeps us all in line in the band. That's right. I inherited yeah. five brothers. <laughs> are we are we going to see you playing in Hamilton more often then uh, in the weeks and months to come? Yeah, we're going to uh, start uh, booking some out this way, Toronto, Burlington. I think uh, Joe Dogs is – we're talking to Joe Dogs right now to – to set something up in Burlington in the fall, yeah. So, well, hopefully we'll uh, be running into each other more often than not. Thursday, Liquid Kitty, Black Daisy CD release party. Check them out, BlackDaisy.ca. Again, Mike and Trisha, thanks for coming down. Thanks sure, for bringing thanks for Rebecca. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is I See Red from Black Daisy's brand new CD. It's a ninety-three three CMU. You want an answer, answer your phone But I see how I can So I'm guessing you're not
93.3 CFMU. We'll send that one out to Jim Bontane, Trisha's father-in-law. We should have mentioned Willie Dogs. Uh, he's the hot dog guy here at McMaster University campus, and it's related to Trisha. Uh, so I see red, uh, Trisha, my stars, Keys Matt and Black Daisy, Liquid Kitty on Thursday. Our thanks to them for stopping by today.